<laughs> yeah, structural failure. I may have to reinforce those some more, huh? Um, or maybe it's a it's a fault of this landing gear being too low. Here, let's try it this way. Or here, here's a thought. Maybe we'll go for one of these smaller ones. Because I'm thinking that if I used one of the full size tanks, then that piece would end up being. I mean, that it'd be too tall. The nose would be way too high up in the air. Here we go. Nicely streamlined. Uh, let's go ahead and put some struts on it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and the landing gear. Okay, okay. Yeah, even more lumps and warts. Yeah, this thing is definitely not a pretty airplane at this point. <laughs> okay, launch it. Clear the runway and proceed because of that debris. Orville, Manfred, Haro! Let's hit it, man. Okay, extend the gear. Let's see if anything snaps off. Boom! Oh! Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, it didn't like that, did it? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, in flight, what happened? Uh... Okay, let me see. That's one's, that's the RCS tank collided with that little nose nose gear pod that I just put down there. Whenever I extended the gear, because it jumped upward like that. Well, maybe I can sneak sneak that nose gear backwards a little bit. about that. I think that'll work. <laughs> like that. You just hit the landing gear button and you just BAM! It detonates. <laughs> Alright, save that. Launch that. Yeah, this time it that indeed is debris. Let's get rid of all that debris. Okay. Extend the landing gear again. Hold on tight guys, here we go. Yeah, very nice. Oh, do you see how that was wiggling? That's going to cause problems. That thing bouncing back and forth. Hang on, I'm not going to launch this yet. Not going to launch this yet. Space plane hangar. We're going to strut that down. There we go. will work. Do it like that. I do not like my pieces wiggling around, banging, get my air intake banging into my RCS tank. That's bad news. All right. Now let's launch it. It's all these fine little fiddly details. Orville, like Orville Wright. Manfred von Kerbel, like Manfred von Richthofen. Haro, I don't know. Is Haro Hermani? Is it? I'm, I'm certain that there's a Haro Hermani who's also famous in aviation somewhere. I just don't remember. Okay, well, that's all looking pretty good. Yeah, it's... Oh, wait, hang on. Play stick. Get the joystick over here. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Precision control is on. The airplane's already rolling a little bit. And only one engine is running. Number two engine is running, but numbers one and three are not. I forgot to run the fuel lines. That was a dumb mistake. Brief. Certain video, you, many of you are probably already yelling at me about that. <laughs> at the fuel lines! Here we go. And fuel line, fuel lines, fuel lines. Let's go ahead and use the black ones. Because they're more stylish. <laughs> Okay, about right about here, yeah. Yep, that'll work. Okay. This airplane is going to work, I promise. Okay, extend the landing gear. No explosions, please. Yep. That all looks much more solid. Precision control, start the engines. 
Yeah, we got all three burning now. Okay, I'll be on too much. There's 90 meters per second. Let's get about 100. There's bouts. Okay, we rotate just fine. Have not yet taken off though. And yeah, okay, it's a flyer. How about that. Let's retract that landing gear. Um, trifle nose heavy. And you can definitely feel a lot of the extra mass, extra weight here. It's kind of reluctant to climb. Yeah, it's definitely not any kind of barnstorming, whipping around real fast kind of vehicle. But, yeah, it's controllable. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 100, and, you see, climbing here, 130-ish, 130-ish meters per second. That's respectable. I'd be happier if whenever you throttle up, I wonder if I can, I can tweak this so that if you throttle up, it pitches up, like, it's supposed to be, huh? Okay, let's go for a landing. It's definitely a functional airplane. Not winning any beauty prizes anytime soon. Maybe I should have waited for daylight. I think it's easier to judge altitude for these landings whenever you have a shadow. <laughs> I thought I saw a smile for a second out of Orville. Okay, let's we've got let's see if we can arrest that descent rate. Yeah, it's difficult to tell how far up I am. Pull back some more. There we go. Yes, yeah, so it's I'm looking at that descent rate, I'm looking at my airspeed. want my descent rate to be less than that 5, right around that 5 or less. Okay, remember that the ground is around like 70-ish. Come on, gentle, gentle. There's the ground. Cut the throttle. And there's a touchdown on the mains. Touchdown on the nose. Holding down the brakes. Yeah, okay. Looks to me like an ugly but functional airplane. Well, that worked okay. How about that? No wings snapping off or nothing. Still slightly nose heavy. I wonder if there's one thing that I can do to fix that. Yeah. Yeah, see, the original grunt, it just had way too many wings. <laughs> we didn't need all those wings. I wonder, there's one tweak I want to try. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's try this. Yeah, this is working. This is working. Let me see here. Symmetry on. Snap to angle off. See, okay, so it's still slightly nose heavy in flight. There's things that I could do about that. I could move this, the whole assembly, move this wing, the whole uh, wing structure forward a little bit, although uh, that kind of, often that'll change, cause bigger changes than I want. And I like how the, where the fuel and everything it's taking, I have to, I like that the engines are centered over the wing and where it's taking the fuel is, is centered over the wing. Here's another thing I can do. Just a little, a little trick from your Uncle Mad. Take this one off and do go to the fine control. Oops, not that one. Not that way. Not that way. We'll give it just one notch down. You may not realize that on, on an airplane it's got, got the elevator, got a, a tail on it like this. With the actual function of that, it does not provide lift. It actually provides the opposite. This tail structure is there to push down uh, on, 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 the, on the tail of the airplane in order to be balanced. 
And so if it's nose heavy, it's another way of saying it's tail light. I need to put more downforce on the tail. Let's try that, see how that works. Okay. Okay, this works. Open that one up. Yeah, nothing wiggling around too much. Oh, Grunt Empty is still over. I thought we didn't we end the flight, or is that? I guess not. Zelda Corp. Ryan Kennedy. Arthur Kermer. All right. Next guinea pigs. But it's okay. This, we already know that this is a pretty good, pretty good vehicle. So I'm, I've got, I've got good feelings about you guys. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna kind of zoom in. I like trying to. To watch the actual landing gear, watch the behavior so I can judge the rotation. Okay, let's start. Oh, that is nice. I just put. I just barely, barely pulled back on the stick. Pull back a little bit more. Oh, that's nice. The gear up. Oh, that is balanced. I am totally hands-free at this moment. Yeah, pitch forward slowly, gradually. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, tweaking that tail. Just a tiny little bit. That made a huge difference. Oh. Remember that trick, whoever, if you're watching these. It's something that I... I, I wish that... Yeah, the, uh, people have asked for like uh, a good guide towards all, all kinds of aerodynamics. I, I think some of these aeronautical engineering dudes might be better suited to that. I have an understanding of many of these things just from being around them for more of a uh, you know uh, lifetime of hands-on work with them. Uh, so I've picked up a lot of stuff, but I'm really not certain how I'd go about um, putting together a guide or a tutorial, trying to educate somebody about a, some of these tricks of how to make a good airplane. Oh, but this flies nicely. I mean, it's still heavy. It still it's, looks like a truck and kind of handles like a truck, but now it's a very smooth truck. It's a balanced truck. Let's put this gear back out. I am happy about that. I mean, tell, that tells me I got the landing gear balanced right, got the elevator balanced. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm happy about how this thing handles. Okay, start to pitch back some. Really should have waited for daylight to do this. So to have that that shadow, because the depth perception here gets really iffy. And even here, low airspeed, I can already feel just that little tweak. It it's handles so much better. back a little bit more trying to maintain like the same attitude as I throttle back and pitch back oh 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 oh, oh well, I think my my rate of descent was too high I oh Zelda Ryan Arthur well you, you got to fly a beautiful airplane for just like a minute there so you know your 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 life and your service was not wasted Ooh, look at those parts all Swirling around. <laughs> I think, really think that was, I just, that was a sloppy landing. It's a heavy airplane, a lot of mass, and I should have set it down a lot more gentle, but I couldn't really see where the ground was. That was just a sloppy landing. That was my fault. That was, that was not the design. That was my fault. <sighs> okay. Okay. But hey, it's uh, the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, this, let me see the yeah the big one empty crashed into train because because I was hauling it way back. I had to so it it drug the tail. The tail was the first thing that contacted the ground. Okay, we can call that one a winner. I like it. I like it. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to cease recording here for a little bit. And, you know, the next step when we come back is going to uh, remake this thing, not using the empty boosters, using the uh, the full solid boosters. And we're going to see what, what kind of uh, weight it, we can actually lift out of the atmosphere. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.